friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with CZIC Stitch, and today is Sunday, April 9th, 2023. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I am so glad that you are here spending part of your day or your evening with me, and happy Easter to those who celebrate. Today is Easter Sunday, so uh, my dad is here. He got here on Tuesday, and he has been busy painting the house. Um, we're not planning on doing the bedrooms or anything or bathrooms, just kind of the main parts of the house. It's going really well. We basically just have the living room left. I say we, he's doing all the work. <laughs> um, he basically just has the living room and the living room ceiling left to do. Um, so it looks great. I love the color. I went with Pearly White by Sherwin Williams. Um, for those who are interested, it's, um, a warmer white. It's not cream or anything like that. It's definitely white, but it's warmer and it's not overpoweringly white. Like it doesn't look um, like a hospital or anything like that. So I love it. I'm so happy with it. Everything just looks really fresh and clean and new again. So thrilled about that. Um, but yeah, so it's just been a really busy week with, I still had to work <laughs> and then I would come home and my dad would have a room painted or an area painted so it was great we're having a lot of fun um, just kind of hanging out together and watching shows in the evening and uh, you know I've gotten a little bit of stitching time in um, not as much as I normally would but that's okay um, and I, it was to, to be expected uh, so let's just get right into it we are going to Easter brunch here in a little bit so I'm gonna try to um, make this video a little bit quicker than normal, but I did have a new start, uh, this week. Um, so we started, um, this is in my bag from Jesse, my birthday bag from Jesse. Um, I started, we started a Madame Luffy, um, stitch along, uh, April 1st. So you can stitch any Madame Luffy piece that you want. She has a ton of them. I own a lot of her pieces and I love them, but I actually haven't stitched any of them. So we are just using the hashtag Madame Luffy Sal um, to share your progress. And this is the one I am doing the English. Here's the French, but the English is garden sweetness. I had to look it up. Like I didn't just know that. Um, so I am way up here in the corner. So you can see that this is just it's a lot of color changes in there a lot a lot of color changes and this is probably my least favorite kind of motif of the whole thing i am thinking i will change these words to english um i don't know i haven't really thought about that or looked at it a whole lot to see how i would do that um but i We'll take a look at that when I get to that point. So I am stitching this on 32 count blue, vintage blue whisper, I think it's called, linen. Um, it is what I stitched um, the winter birds. No, the, I'm looking at them right here. Welcome winter friends and the you are amazing if you've been with me for a while. So here's where I've gotten to. This is two days worth of work. So about, um, about six hours. So just kind of working on the border as I go and this first um, flower with the greenery kind of hangs off of, um, out of that flower pot. A lot of, lot of um, <clears throat> color changes in that one. And right below it is like a pink butterfly, which I'm so excited to get to, but I'm like, no, you have to finish this first. So that is my start. I normally like to give three days to new starts. Um, I don't know if that will happen with this one. Um, I don't have plans to bring her out again this month, but we'll see how much, if I have time at the end of the month. So that is Garden Sweetness. Let me put it down right here. And then I had some whips. So my 25-7 piece is um, stained glass window. And it is in the, the magazine is falling apart here, the April 2021 issue of Just Cross Stitch. It is designed by Tangled Threads and Things. And this is going to be a gift for a friend. Very appropriate that um, I'm showing this on Easter Sunday. So my goal is to finish it this month. I don't know. <laughs> but it'll be close. 
I'm stitching this on the called for. It's 28 count French linen, I believe it's called. And this is where I got to. So I basically got this top part of the cross done. Um, and I'm starting, you can see I'm starting in on the white for the lilies. Those are two different whites. You can't really tell the difference, but there are two different whites in there. Um, so we're getting there. And then I haven't worked on this border at all yet. I, I really just want to get this central piece done. And there's a bunch of back stitching too. So I'm going to focus on getting this done um, and then the border and then the back stitching. But she's coming together. She's, get, she's coming together. I don't know if I will for sure get this done this month, but it'll be close. And then I, I'm fine if I have to carry it over into next month. It's a gift, but it's not for any like, um, you know, birthday or anything. It's just, um, it's just a gift. So there you go. Next up, we had our first stitching session on spring montage. This is, oops, folded. This is Spring Montage by Janet Stever. It is charted by Pain Free Crafts, and I am up here in the first, the first block there. Um, okay, so last week when I showed this, I'm trying to get it out without spilling all the contents like I just did. Um, okay, so when I started this, I, I hadn't pulled the numbers for where I was and how many stitches I had. So this is, let me show you first. This is where we got to. So I'm just going back and doing some filling. You can see there are some cherry blossoms in there. Um, it's not looking like a whole lot to me. Um, I might carry this down um, to like kind of get the outline of the first box. Maybe next. This is just 32 count white even weave that I'm stitching it on. And when I started, I had 613 stitches were done. And I was at 0.42%. So I worked on this one day. I got 314 more stitches in. And I'm now at 0.63%. So we're making progress. We're making progress on this. So this will be fun to work on for the next few months. For my seasonal Sunday piece. Next up. I suppose this is kind of a new start. Um... I am working on, okay, let me, this is from Cross Stitcher, April 2019 issue, and it is Early Bird Bouquets, and there are three of them. I finished one already. This is the second one. I'm going to do all three, and this is what it will look like. So I've just started this one. So I have this top part of the cup done and this kind of dark shading of the wing of the bird done. So, and this is a 25-7 piece, so I want to get um, the other two done. So you can see I have the, the cup is done, and oh, I guess I got a little more of the bird done. Um, but it doesn't count as a finish. I said this when I um, posted in, tw in the Year of Whips that... Um, it will count as one finish when I finish the other two. So when I finish this one, I have one more to do. And then I will consider that piece as like one finish. So there we go. So that's good. That's pretty good progress for, I don't know, this is only like four hours of work. So I'm happy with that. The, the magazine says it should take about 10 hours for this one. So hopefully... That's accurate. That's not too bad. Um, and that's just stitched on a 28 count antique white Lugana. And that's it. That's all I stitched on you guys. Um, that went really fast. Um, I do have a little bit of haul to share with you. Um, this might be my shortest video yet. Um, okay. A little bit of haul here. Um, so I ordered, I placed an order from Garan because I needed a couple more threads for the Hearthside Christmas piece by Erica Michaels. So that's not super exciting. And then I've been eyeing these um, Tiny Towns 
by Heart and Hand. I got the Blooming Tiny Town. Um, I also like the Big Hearted. I can't remember if I have that one. I feel like I won it. I'll have to check. And then they have the Christmas one too that I want to get. I think this is so cute for spring. Um, and they're on sale right now at Garon Stitchery because Heart and Hand is their designer, focus on a designer for the month of April. So you can get um, a 10% discount. So I picked that up along with the threads. Then I also got my thread of the month, my Cottage Garden Threads of the Month. So if you don't want to see the exact colors, you might want to fast forward. These are gorgeous pinks. Um, we have Flamingo. Vintage Rose, so pretty. Um, this is Ruby, really bright. This is Holly Hot. Some of these would look really great on the Camberley Sampler by Rosewood Manor. And then Zinnia, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so April, the April threads, which are, this is the March threads. The April threads that will be here um, at the end of this month um, will be my last order because that will be a full year. Um, so I just need to use them, honestly, instead of collecting them. So, um, yeah, I'll be sad. It, it's such a fun club, but I, I haven't even used what I have. So I'm going to take a pause at least for a little bit. Um, then... I did get my next issue of the World of Cross Stitching magazine. So two came pretty close together. So this is the April issue. I haven't even looked through this one yet. And I know I promised you a flip through of the other ones. Um, the other two magazines I got last week, but I don't know. I mean, maybe after my dad leaves, I'll be able to do that. Um, if it makes sense, it might be a little bit too. I don't know. I don't know if you want to see them when, if they're past the month that we have already been in. Does that make sense? Do, am I making sense? I don't know. Anyway, then I was on one of the stash and loading pages. I could never remember which one, but somebody was giving away a bunch of Rosewood Manor pieces and I grabbed them. So this one is um, ABC Tapestry and I think this is really pretty. It's really hard to see. They did it all in red. I probably won't do mine in red, but um, Maybe add some color so like they have some examples on the back of like doing um, each one in a different color. Um, I don't know. I just think it's a fun. I don't really have plans for this one. I just needed to have it. Um, the other one, which is similar, <laughs> is called Trip Around the World. I think these letters are so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then, of course, you can pull out just certain letters and create whatever word you want. Uh, but I think they're just beautiful, beautiful. So I got that. This is only $10 on Stash and Load. Um, and it looks very intimidating, let me just tell you. Each page has its own color key. There's um, triple rice stitches, four-sided stitch, mosaic stitch, herringbone stitch, cloister, Blocks, Algerian, small, triple, Levithan stitch. I mean, there's Smyrna Cross, Rice Stitch. There's a lot of specialty stitches in this one. I thought this might be a good one to practice on. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. Um, and then the last one I got, all from the same seller. I have not seen this one. This one is called Inspiration. Also by Rosewood Manor. And I think it's just, look at that super thick border as a challenge and then I just love the center motif and these little flowers here I think that's super pretty um this is from 2007 love it so, and these are books I mean these are thick books each of these this one is from 2010 and again these are all super thick books I got this package in the mail and I was just like why, why did I order? I only thought I ordered three charts. Well, I did, but they're all thick books. And this one is also from 2007. So, thrilled about those. Thrilled about those. 
And then you're going to make fun of me. And I know it. And I'm okay with that when I show you this. Um, but I got my 2024, 2025 planner. I don't know why. I just, it was there. It was $6. Um, I love the, the cover, of course, because it's floral. And it's a little bit different. It's a different um, designer or author um, than the ones I, I, the one I have been using previously. So I haven't written anything in it because I might wait and I might use this as a giveaway if my current author comes out. I mean, I know it's early. Um, this is what the pages look like. And then there is, if my current author comes out with one for the next two years, I will get that one. And then there's notes pages in between, which is what I like. Um, and yeah, so, you know, I use this notes section a lot for planning and the boxes are good. And it's just a simple layout. And it's for two years for $6. You really can't beat that. Um, and it goes through December 2025. And I just love the cover. So we'll see. We'll see if that's a giveaway or, you know, I might just get a couple for giveaways anyway. Um, when it gets closer to 2024. I'm just ahead of the game, right? Um, okay, so we have a couple of giveaways and then we'll do plans and that's really going to be it. So, in celebration of Easter, I have this chart, Classic Easter Sampler. Um, and the winner of this is Catherine Baker Gago. Catherine, I need your address. If you could email me at czuckstitch at gmail.com, um, I will get this in the mail to you maybe next, next week. Um, so, Catherine Baker Gago. And then the Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird Designs. The winner of this is Arlene Curry. Arlene, I don't think I have your address, but if you could just email me as well, um, I will get that sent out to you. And then I have a couple more giveaways for today. Um, first up, this is these are spring, and I think these are really cute. Um, this one is called Blossom and Bloom by Erica Michaels. I heard sniffing at my door. Pretty sure it was a cat and not my dad. Um, this is called Blossom and Bloom Petite's Collection. So this is, oh, this is um, open worldwide. I'll send it anywhere. Um, model is stitched on 40 count silk gauze. It says it's provided. I don't know if it's in there. It looks like it hasn't been opened. Oh, yep. Yeah, I see a little bit. You see that little silk gauze hanging out there? I might have picked this up on a freebie table. So you get the 40 count silk gauze in there. Stitch count is 74 by 75 high. Um, there It calls for gentle arts, weeks, and some DMC. And then there's DMC for the whole thing if you want. <laughs> she says, it's easy. You can do this, um, which is cute. So blossom and bloom. And the keyword for this is bloom. So if you want to be entered to win, again, opened internationally. And then the other one, um, Kelly Hill sent me this a long time ago. Um, and I keep meaning to do it as a giveaway. So thank you so much, Kelly, for providing this for, um, for our giveaway. This is by Petal Pusher. It is called Spring Beauty. I think it is so pretty and perfect for this time of year. If you're celebrating spring, let me see if I can get to the stitch count. Stitch count is 91 by 66. So it's a cute small little piece and it's all called for DMC. So if you want this one, say spring. So we'll give those away next week. Okay, plans. So plans, I'm going to continue working on the stained glass window as my 25-7 piece. Um, I'll be working on spring montage today for my seasonal Sunday, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I'll be working on early bird bouquets, um, which you have seen. And then I'm going to bring out, um, Summer Quakers by Rosewood Manor. Um, so we are working over here on this large motif. So I'm going to bring this out this week and try to get some hours. And I've been averaging with my dad here. I've been averaging maybe about two hours of stitching an evening, which is about what I was hoping for. 
So, um, so I, I'm happy with that, that I'm still getting some time in. Um, but, uh, so here's where we're at for spring Quakers. So you can see I'm down there in the right corner. I'm working on that motif. So I, my goal is to finish it this half of the year. So we're going to get some work done in this. So I'm excited up to bring that one back out and get some stitches in. Um, and that is everything I have. Um, I'm not quite sure when I'll be back next, maybe next Saturday or Sunday. I'm not quite sure. Um, my dad is here through for like another week. Um, so, um, we'll have fun. I have other projects lined up for him when he finishes the painting. So I'm not worried about keeping him busy. Um, but thank you all so much for watching this very quick, short video, and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.